right, time to talk football, guys. Big news this week for the Arizona Cardinals as the quarterback shuffle continues. So what does rookie Max Hall's new starting role mean for the Cardinals on your fantasy football rosters? We have our experts, of course, Jeff Gracchini and Russ Bliss from FantasyFootballStarters.com talking about that. But first, we want to talk about uh, what you need to know before you put your starters and who you're going to bench this week in week five. How you doing, guys? Good, doing good. 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 Week good. five is alive, and we're going to start off with some news and notes. And Russ, why don't you jump into that? Well, of course, we want to start off with injuries. Okay. Injuries you got to know about. Michael Vick leads the injury list this week, the quarterback for the Philadelphia mm -hmm. Eagles. He's got the rib injury. He's going to miss at least one game and probably two or three. So you want to make sure that Michael Vick's on the bench. Kevin Cobb will start in his place. Then you've got LaShawn McCoy, the running back for the Eagles. He is going to play today. He's questionable on the injury report. He's got a rib injury as well. Okay. He's probably going to wear a flak jacket, but he should play. Darren McFadden is out with a hamstring injury. That's the running back for Oakland. The Washington Redskins running back, Clinton Portis, he has a severe groin injury. He's gone for at least six weeks and Ooh. possibly the rest of the season. Ryan Terrain so. takes over as the starting running back Someone there. Someone you probably want to get rid of then. Elizabeth yeah, Indiana. most likely. Okay. Andre Johnson, the wide receiver for the Houston Texans, he's going to be a game-time decision with the ankle injury. He says he is going to play, though. And Steve Smith for the Carolina Panthers, he's out with a high ankle sprain as well this week. All right, lots, lots of injuries, it seems yes. like. Oh, yeah. That yeah. list goes on and on. All right, let's talk about bye weeks, Jeff. That's right. Miami. If, you're, if you've got Miami, you don't want to play any of those guys. You do not want to start Chad, Chad Henne. you got to keep those guys on your bench. Same thing goes with New England. Tom Brady, right? Mm -hmm. um, He's a big one. Wes Welker, can't play those guys. got to keep them on your bench. And then the Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger's coming back, but you can't play them this week because they're on a bye week, so no Steeler players. And the same thing goes with the Seattle Seahawks and newly traded Marshawn Lynch. Those guys have to stay on the bench, don't they, Russ? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is also the time when we start talking about who to get rid of, who to try to get, of course. We've been talking about injuries. That's one thing to consider. It's sort of like the stock market, I know. Buy low, mm, sell, sell high. high. That's right, and we'll start off with a great buy low candidate, and that's the New Orleans Saints wide receiver, Marquez Colston. Marquez mm -hmm. Colston, so far through four games, he's averaging less than five receptions a game, less than 50 yards receiving per game, but this is a proven 1,000-yard, eight-touchdown guy. So with 12 games remaining, Remaining and these low numbers that he's put wow. up so far yep. averages out. He's going to have to have some really good games going forward, and his owners are getting really frustrated with him. Definitely, Marquez Colston is someone to target for acquisition. Okay, very good. What about uh, the Jets running back? LT, lots to talk about him. Yeah, LaDainian Tomlinson is having an outstanding year. He was supposed to play a backup role to Sean Green, but so far this year, tests 341 yards on the, on the ground, as well as averaging 6.1 yards a carry. The guy is rejuvenated. He loves playing for the Jets. What really happened in camp is Sean Green didn't get it going, so they're they're really, really pushing LT. We think over the course of a season, right, now's the time to move LT and Why? sell him high. Why when he's doing so well, though? Because he's a running back over 31 well? years old. And, uh. you know, he's had a tendency to have injuries. Now, this, he's saying right now, hey, I'm healthy. I feel better than I ever have. Well, guess what? He's one hit away from, plus he's got a rookie, uh, well, second-year player in Sean Green, who's a great running back. A lot of people drafted him real high. There's a matter of time before he'll take the lead role. Okay, so if LT He's on your roster, which I think he's on my husband's. Yes, he is. And he Now's played a good him last time. Week. Now's a good time to get rid of him. That's All right. right. That brings us, of course, to our last topic here, talking about uh, the Cardinals yeah. versus the Saints today. And what are we thinking for this game, guys? Well, it's going to be the debut for Max Hall as the Cardinals starting quarterback. The Cardinals benched Eric Anderson for ineffectiveness. Yeah. So we go with the undrafted rookie, Max Hall, and he's going to have a depleted wide receiver core. No <sighs> Steve Breston, no early Doucette. So he's going to go in with Stephen Williams and Max Comer as the number two and number three wide receivers. Mm -hmm. Good news for him is that Larry Fitzgerald isn't on the injury report at all. Looks like as though Fitz is pretty much fully recovered from that preseason knee injury that he had. Mm -hmm. But the Cardinals, they have got to establish a running game. Beanie Wells came out and talked about it earlier this week and made some media splash with it. Mm -hmm. But the Cardinals need to run the football. Him and Tim Hightower have got to get it going in order for the Cardinals offense to have some balance and take the pressure off of Max Hall. With a running game, we need to work on the defense too. Yeah, and you know, Tess, last week we predicted a 38-10 blowout. Mm -hmm. Same thing goes. Well, not a blowout this week. We are actually think it's going to be a pretty quick, close score of about 17-24. to 24. See, and I've with heard a lot of people thinking, oh, 
uh, you know, New Orleans is just going to. Yeah, well, New Orleans has got an arsenal, and, and that defense of our Cardinals has got to face Drew Brees. And Drew Brees is having a real good year. Give him credit. He's averaging. This week, we're predicting he'll go for 262 yards. He is right now the third-ranked quarterback this weekend from a fantasy perspective. Ooh, and okay. then you've got those other wide receivers. Of course, you've got Marquez Colston, who's going to blow it out at you some point in time. You guys were just talking about We just mm -hmm. talked about him. You've got Lance Moore. You've got Devery Henderson. This guy spreads the ball. Jeremy Shockey at the tight end position. It's going to be real tough. And to Russ's point, the Arizona, one of the biggest challenges when you're looking at a defense and ranking a defense is the offense. If the offense does not stay on the field, that defense is out there getting tired all the time. And the offense for the Cardinals and the defense for the, far, for the Cardinals rank 29th and 31st, respectively. All right. So if that offense keeps it going, then the defense has a better chance. Okay, well, we will see how Max Hall performs today. Last but not least, we want to remind folks that uh, there's always, of course, great things to be won on your website. That's right, and we have our giveaway, our weekly giveaway of our championship plan. So this question is, name the last rookie quarterback who started a regular season game for the Arizona Cardinals. And the first person test to email Jeff at fantasyfootballstarters.com wins full access to all of our analyzer tools and alerts for the entire season. We've had a winner every week. We're getting like 20 people that are going for this. So the first one that emails me the answer to that correct question, they win our championship plan. Uh, uh, the, the answer to that is the, the person's not on the team anymore, right? Oh, you can't be giving tips away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited. I think I know who this oh, one is. Oh, yeah? I well, know. we'll see. I could see. totally be wrong. Hey, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next week for week six into uh, fantasy football. Thank Got you. It. All right, guys.